Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a guy RB that stands for Rose Persimmon. For those who are new here, this channel is about lifestyle and film related content. And without further ado, as you've seen in the title, of course, we have Hellbound versus Alice in Borderland. Um, if you didn't watch these two, they're both on Netflix. You can go check them out. Um, I, as I talk about how I do this VS series, of course, I add, I, I add uh, details from IDMB, Google users, Rotten Tomatoes. And then I also put a poll on my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube community tab to get people's opinions before I make a tally and add up all the results. And at the end of it all, I tell you which one I prefer of the two. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Some California love, I've been riding through the city. In the Cadillac, getting faded off the Remy. Had a ugly low pass, now I sitting pretty. I know I made mistakes, I just... IDMB Hellbound has 6.8 out of 10, while Alice in Borderland had 7 out 7.6 out of 10. If they are both, um, Hellbound has made this year 2021, actually it's very recent. Well, of course, Alice in Borderland was made last year. And actually, uh, Hellbound is, um, originally a Korean drama, while Alice in Borderland is a Japanese drama. Um, Hellbound has six episodes, while Alice in Borderland has only eight. Has eight. Uh, they both only have one season so far. And um, let's go. Let's continue. Google users. Hellbound had eighty-eight percent, while Alice in Borderland had ninety-five percent. For Rotten Tomatoes, Hellbound has a whooping one hundred percent, still intact, while. Alice in Borderland had 71% as of this video, of course. I don't know if factors have changed or not. But as of this video, that those are the percentages. Now when you go to our social media, my Instagram, Hellbound got 48%, while Alice in Borderland got 52%. On Twitter, it was matched equally, 50%, 50% all. For my YouTube community tab, Hellbound got 18%, while Alice in Borderland got 82%. For the plot of these movies, Hellbound. Unearthly being deliver condemnations, sending individuals to hell, and giving rise to a religious group founded on the idea of divine justice. While Alice in Borderland, obsessed gamer Arisu suddenly finds himself in a strange, emptied up version of Tokyo, in which he and his friends must compete in dangerous games in order to survive. Uh, of course, the networks that support this are both Netflix, but the production company for Hellbound was Climax Studio, while the, uh, the production company for Alice in Borderland was Robot Communications Inc. So for me personally, uh, if I think about having watched Alice in Borderland and Hellbound, they both had something lacking because I did get the answer I wanted in the end of why the things are happening which maybe triggers a season two of both which i'm waiting for but if i was to choose solely from um the first season ah, it's hard it's hard it's hard for me to pick <laughs> but i promised that i would pick so i have to pick one okay it's sad i feel like they draw for me <laughs> it's a draw for me but of course here as we've seen hellburn has a total of 372 while Alice in Borderland has a total of 426 points, which puts Alice in Borderland the winner of this matchup. Thank you very much for watching. I'm in your girl, Rose Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See ya!